All right, so I've actually already marked this out. You just, I, I basically came in here. Let me move this. Um, I came in here, this is where the wood ends right here and then it turns to that MDF or what have you. And I just put it right there at the edge of it. And I took out the, I took out the plunger, the ball, turned this upside down, traced around it, and I traced the center. So we're, we're actually going to need to drill this out first. All right, so this is the plunger I unscrewed from. And see that it's bigger than that. That's a three quarter inch. All right, so what I did here, I, must be I didn't have it turned on. What I did is I, I took my plunger, took my plunger out. You hold on here. That's how you're gonna get this. It's gonna be spun in like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it out because we're gonna need this to mark it now. I've already marked it. Took it, put it up here, centered it between the two halves, and I pulled it back to where it's not into the end of this wood. As you can see, it's there's a seam there. So I got it there, traced around. You can see my trace. I went ahead and circled around the inside of that. Drilled it out with that. Then I switched to a spade bit, and that's pretty much where we're at now. Now the next step is going to be uh, recessing this. I'm gonna use a razor, cut along that line. That, one, that side's already done. So you could come in here with a chisel and work this out easy enough. How about I do, how about I do that, this one? I had my router set up out there so I was gonna use that, but not everybody's gonna have one of them. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to need to do is mark these center holes. It's going to be a two step process right here. And the reason is we'll drill them out. They're going to have to have two different separate drill bits or you're going to have to have a chamfer bit. So that right there, even though it's sharper, it'll allow it to be countersunk. All right, let's see how it goes. So I think the only thing that's holding this up now is this has a it's kind of belled down in there, and I'm going to use nothing but just my knife.
before I take any more off, let me run the screws in. Because sometimes the head will finish pulling it down. And actually, I want to go ahead and put the mechanism in too. Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be pretty close to flush. flush all right so I've already cut out for the striker plate here not cut out I used a, a pencil and a razor and, yeah. there's the noise maker but so I need to figure out where the striker is gonna go so I went ahead and mark it and that's that's what gave me my mark there. But one one error that I always see people make a mistake on is they don't uh, pull this back enough because you actually want that ball detent or what have you to be pulling, uh, pushing the door back. You want it you want it pushing it towards the the door stop. All right. So if I put it up here, I pull it back. I see that I have about 16th or a little bit less. And then, so I take that measurement from there over, and that's what gives me a measurement there. Well, I actually use that right there to set that up there. So I'm about ready to put the router on, cut those up. All right, so you want to see a goof? Yeah, it's all right, I mean, it happens. So I'm gonna have to fill that in right there. But I've already marked it. Stick around, he's bumping into me. Whoa, did you see that? You see that bit flux? Did you see it? Alright, so it's countersunk right here. See this right here? Not countersunk. Well, I guess it is. So I'm gonna put these on and use this as Harley's bit. I still grabbed it out of a set. positive that this will work but this is the next thing you could do this with a chisel but I see it's between the between there so I'm gonna go right here how close is it oh man it's almost all the way over Flush. I understand not everyone's gonna have that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show people what all that can be used for. Put one of these on. Huh. Getting close. We're close enough. That's close enough. See, that's what I'm saying. I guess I could even went a little bit further back, but look at this. It's pulled all the way out, and it's it's almost flush here. See that? Yeah, that's what I was it. It ba basically is flush, pulled all the way out. You don't care about how far it goes in, because right. the door stop will stop it from going there. You want it here, and I probably probably go up a little bit more. Thank you. 
good. Yeah. Cool. All right. So another tool, another use for that. And you saw me use it right there. And I got the thing to fit the first time. Um, now, that's not going to help. This right here, that's just me routing upside down. Yeah. Throwing sawdust in my eye. At least that's the excuse I'm going to use. 